final high school game of Frozen Fenway 2012. Saw the Eagles of BC High taking on the Catholic Memorial Knights in a Catholic Conference battle. BC High's junior goalie Peter Cronin was a busy man in the first period, stopping all nine shots he faced to keep the Eagles in the game as they registered just two first period shots. But it only took BC High 38 seconds into the second period to get the game's opening goal. Bartley Regan picks up the loose puck and snipes it off the crossbar and in for a one to nothing lead. Just under six minutes later, BC's Brian Fury gets the puck ahead to Tom Bessinger to start the three on one. Adam Foley finishes with the low wrister as the two sophomores combine for the goal and a two to nothing lead. Later in the period, CM almost pulls one back when Jack O'Hare scoops the rebound off the boards. He hits the post with the shot. A little unlucky for the Knights because moments later, BC High would make it a three goal lead. Freshman Michael Brooks digs the puck off the boards. His shot is saved, but sophomore Chris LaLibere comes from behind the net for the rebound, shot, and score. Three nothing Eagles heading into the second intermission. And in the third period, CM, they hit the post again. Freshman Bo Starrett with the shot, can't get it by Cronin. And seconds later, BC High senior captain Matt Sullivan takes advantage of a CM turnover. Four to nothing is the final. BC High improves to six and one overall, two and one in the Catholic Conference. For CM, it's their first conference loss and their four and four overall. We spoke to Sullivan afterwards about the thrill of scoring at Fenway Park. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to so badly, and uh, when I finally got the chance to do it, it felt so good. It was an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, we told everyone we're not going to rely on Pete this game, and uh, the first period we came out really slow, and it seemed like it was going to go that way. Uh, coach basically just told us in the locker room we need to pick our heads up in the D zone, find the center on the breakout. We weren't finding him, and uh, in the second period we came out doing that, and it was uh, pretty effective. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's what kind of was expected. They come out and play in the historic park. All these kids grew up in the area. I think we were a little bit of awe of where we were playing. Uh, and give credit to CM. They come out and they went at it. And they went after us hard. You know, we had to weather the storm there for a bit. Peter Cronin bailed us out as he's been doing all year. And we were able to get our legs under us and kind of get going. Uh, yeah, I think they outshot us in the first. Um, it looked like we were uh, a little bit in awe of the park a little bit. It took us a while to really get, in, get to our game. But um, a lot of those shots, my teammates did a good job of keeping the outside, good angles. You know, big credit goes to them. You know, we really haven't been totally outplayed or really, except for, you know, St. Sibs, I think, did, but our goal's going to play great. Every other game, we've uh, played exceptionally well. Uh, you know, we didn't play poorly today. You know, we didn't give up the overman situations. Uh, I don't think they had a break they, break away. They didn't have any overman situations. So the system works. It's just, you know, it's not working from the other team's blue line in right now. It was a good experience, you know, we saw it on TV with the whole HBO thing and all the colleges play here and we're all hyped to play here. You know, obviously it didn't come out in our favor, but we were so all excited. It was a great day, so many people showed up. Put the game behind you, we just move on every day. We have, you know, we have practice tomorrow, then we got a game on Monday, and this, you know, we, we can't forget it, we just got to learn from it. We learn from it and we just move on. And we knew we had to get two points today, it was just another game in the conference, and uh, that brings us above 500 in the conference now, and we're just looking forward from here. Yeah.